So this is a Sunday morning entry, and you can see I'm, I'm dressed up for the morning. Uh, I'm back from New Orleans and getting stuff back in, in line here. And I um, was interesting because I've been getting a lot of response to the early entries that I've done so far, and, and the one on design got a lot of comments from people within the design community and people outside of it. And it ranged from things like, uh, I never thought of it that way, I never really understood design or creativity but wanted to learn more. And it was interesting because that kind of dovetailed into something I heard this morning on the radio. They were interviewing Weird Al Yankovic. And it's funny because I always knew that Weird Al wanted to be an architect. Uh, he was uh, in San Luis Obispo and I didn't know him. but. Uh, uh, a couple of my friends knew him from school, and he obviously got out of it and went on to bigger and better things. So I Googled, I always wanted to be an architect, and came up with kind of an interesting list of people that, uh, for one reason or another, started in architecture, or said they wanted to be an architect, but got out of it, went into another career. Uh, I remember when we were in school, everybody always talked about the talking heads, because 35 years ago or whatever, the talking heads were big and, and everybody knew that they used to be architecture students. Uh, Lenny Kravitz supposedly wanted to be an architect. Uh, the Kind of the funny one I came across was uh, George Costanza. I never really watched Seinfeld so I'm not sure exactly where that was going but George Costanza wanted to be an architect. Uh, Brad Pitt wanted to be an architect. Uh, the, 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 one that I came across that I couldn't believe I missed somewhere, maybe I did hear it but just forgot, was President Obama said he wanted to be an architect, uh, which is interesting. Uh, I, I think that all goes back to my, my comment previously on the fact that everybody is a designer because all of these people uh, chose to go a different direction other than architecture, but they're still doing something that is design related or that design comes into play with in in what they do. Uh, music obviously you can see the, the creative uh, the, the creative output from it. Uh, politics uh, uh, you know maybe it's just the way they think and the way that they organize things because sometimes creative thinking is about organization and your approach to problem solving. So it, it, it's, it's just interesting that uh, there are uh, people that say they always wanted to be an architect. Uh, when I Googled a little more and uh, found why they didn't become architects, the number one reason seemed to be because you can't make any money at it. And that probably has always held true and still holds true today. Uh, from my very first class in school when they asked who's here to be an architect because they want to make a lot of money and the professor asked all those people to leave the room at that point because it was never going to happen uh, you know until now with the recession you know it's once again tough to uh, make a lot of money at it but you know that I don't think that's what most architects and designers are in it for because it's really about the love of design the passion for it and uh, getting fulfillment out of it so this was just a quick little uh, sidetrack. Um, I'll get back on to some more serious topics in the uh, upcoming ones. So uh, for now, it's uh, Sunday morning. Go read the paper. Later.